Hey everyone, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to start a blog for free with Grooveblog. So this is going to be my first of several Grooveblog tutorials. We're going to take a look at uh, how to get into Grooveblog from the GrooveFunnels dashboard, which is where I am right now, and uh, we're going to look at how to initially set up a new blog in Grooveblog and just kind of walk through that initial process. So I'm here in the GrooveFunnels dashboard. This is what you'll see when you log into GrooveFunnels. Uh, if you've just signed up, even if, um, even if you're just on a free account, then you, your dashboard should look more or less the same. And even if you're on the free account, you can still make a free blog. So I'm on a premium account. I'm on the Lifetime Platinum account. So I can create as many blogs as I want. And as you can see, I've created one right here uh, just to kind of check out the tool a little bit. And now that I understand it, I'm going to actually create a real blog on here that I'm going to be blogging on. I'm not just doing this to show you how the tool works in hopes that you'll sign up through my link, although my link is in the description down below and I hope that you will sign up using my link. But I'm actually going to create a real blog out of this and I'm gonna walk you through the entire process over a series of videos from beginning to end of how to set up a blog for free with GrooveFunnels and uh, along the way, I might even teach you some content creation, some blogging techniques, and some search engine optimization because that's uh, kind of what I do for a living. So anyways, first thing we're gonna do is just click on new blog. And the name of this blog is My Fitness Fight. So I'm gonna call the subdomain My Fitness Fight. That keeps it nice and simple. And I do have the real domain of this domain name, and I am going to be connecting that in a later tutorial. But for now, we're just going to set it up on a subdomain, which is what it does automatically anyway. So you just need to put in the blog name and the subdomain that you want, which will be, it'll be that at, it'll be that dot grooveblog.com. That's what a subdomain is. It's the part that comes before the dot in a domain name, or before the second dot, I should say, for the first dot, I should say. Um, so that's the subdomain. That's the main domain, and that's the domain extension. So I'm just gonna hit done. And now it's generating the new blog. And so it says down here that the blog has been published, and now it's just pulling in all of the uh, dummy content. So as you can see, uh, this blog is now live. I can click right here and visit the blog. So it's gonna open this in a new tab. And even if I if I refresh, you can see it's right there. Um, so this blog is actually a real blog now, um, it, but it's on a subdomain and it's completely uh, dummy content. So I don't have all my content ready for uh, yet, but first what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through this menu on the side and uh, walk you through what each of these buttons does. So if we go to home, it takes us back to the main blog screen, but I wanna be in this blog, so I can go to open blog or I can click on the dots and say edit. The publish button, of course, uh, will publish any new changes that you have. You can also do that up here. And then here we have posts. And uh, if you've ever used WordPress, then GrooveBlog is kind of like WordPress if you couldn't make pages. So basically with GrooveBlog, you get a home page, which we were just looking at, and then you get posts, which are, uh, which have categories and tags similar to the way that they have in WordPress. Um, but unlike in WordPress, you can't also make static pages. You can really only make the dynamic posts. So I'm in posts now, and these are all of the dummy posts that it's uh, created for me. I'm gonna have to delete these at some point, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm just gonna keep walking through. Here we have the categories. So uh, you can't actually do subcategories, but for me that's okay because um, I don't like using subcategories on blogs really. Um, I find that it makes the the URL a little bit too long. So I probably would have just used main categories anyways. And basically this is where you can create a new category. You can say new category, you put in the name, you put in the slug, which is the part of the URL. So it would be yourblognamecom slash category name. That's, that would be the slug. 
and then you can put in a category description and you can choose whether or not you want to show it in navigation. And uh, in themes right now, there's only one theme. So we've just got GrooveBlog Classic, but you can customize that theme to a certain extent. Uh, so if you click on customize, like I just did, then you can uh, go to layout and you can control whether or not these different aspects are showing. You can control uh, the type of the way that the posts are displayed, whether you want a list, a grid, or masonry, just to kind of show you the differences. That's list, that's grid, that's masonry. We'll just stick with grid. And under appearance, you can edit all these colors. You can change the heading font and the body font. Um, let will just go with Roboto. And so I'll customize all these later to make them according to my brand colors. And you can even add custom CSS right here, uh, which is really great for more advanced users who want to have a more custom appearance. All right, so that is the customizer. To get out of this, I can either go exit or I can click back right here. And now we're back at the uh, themes page. And if we go to navigation, um, this is where you can decide what you want in the menu and in what order you want it. So uh, if I go here, I can edit or delete each of these uh, each of these buttons that are in the menu. And if I want them in a different order, I can just drag and drop them and they will move around for me. And then here in the categories, you can do the same thing. You can delete it from the navigation or you can drag and drop, move it around. And this is the button for adding a new category. This is the button for adding a new link. And now let's just take a quick look at the settings. So uh, these are fairly important settings, at least to me, because like I mentioned, I'm a search engine optimizer and uh, these are the SEO settings. So the blog post URL is what will go in front of, it's the slug that will go in front of your blog names, uh, like the names of your posts. So my, my domain is gonna be myfitnessfight.com so uh, this would be all of my posts. If I leave this as is, all of my posts will be myfitnessfight.com slash post slash the name of the post. Uh, so I don't want that to be post. I want this to say blog. Uh, unfortunately, you can't choose to have it say nothing. I would probably prefer to just have it say nothing. That's not an option though. So uh, I'm gonna make it say blog because that's kind of a standard thing to do. A lot of people actually do that. A lot of people seem to think that's a good idea for SEO. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea. I, don't th I think it's kind of irrelevant, um, but I would prefer to have it say blog than post. And then for tag, I'm fine with tag. And for category, for categories, I want topic. So I'm just gonna hit save. And now I've set up my SEO settings. And then under here, we have uh, the subdomain. So you can edit the subdomain and hit save and that would change it, but I want it to stay the same. And uh, this is also where you can select a domain, but I don't have any domains loaded into GrooveFunnels right now. Um, so if I were to go and come here, I mean, I have, have these two, but they're not uh, in Groove blog rather. So I'm just gonna hit back. and come back to settings. So that is how the domain section works. Uh, logo, this is where you up, upload the logo that's in the top corner of the menu. Favicon is the, uh, the image that appears in the top corner of the tab. So it's not like in the browser, uh, it's, it's not in the main paint of the browser, it's up above uh, in the, area that I have blacked out of this uh, of this screen recording. Um, so it's just, uh, that's important for branding as well to have something there and it gives you the recommended size and you just choose your image and save. Social links, uh, you can set up all of your various social platforms so that people can navigate to them easily. Comments, you can uh, install Facebook comments, I guess, I didn't realize that, that's pretty cool. And uh, you can put in a pixel here and the number of posts. 
And then here we have uh, just a very basic but still effective uh, form that you can set up in order to capture emails. Um, this is the copyright that will go at the bottom of the, I'm just gonna change that. We'll, I'll, I'll remove the made with groove funnels part at some point, but I'll just leave that like it is for now. Embed ads. Uh, this is something that I'm probably going to actually use because uh, my plan for this blog is not as much uh, affiliate marketing as ad based. So I, my plan is to just try and get as much traffic to this blog as I can by posting a lot of great content on it. And then I'm going to uh, start uh, displaying ads. So that makes this important. So you just put your header ads code here, your footer ads code here, your sidebar ads code here and hit save. And then ads will display on the site. And then here we have tracking and pixels. Uh, so this is where you can include code in the head of the, of the site's code, in the body tag of the site's code, and in the bottom of the body tag. So that can be used to integrate Google Analytics. That can be used to integrate your Facebook pixel. And it might be able to be used to integrate some other stuff as well. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll have to play around with that and see whether it works the way that I would like for it to. So anyways, um, that is a pretty rudimentary walkthrough how to set up a, uh, how to set up a Groove blog with Groove funnels. As you can see, uh, now I've got two blogs here. And I think that this is a really great feature of Groove Funnels because um, even though I really love WordPress, WordPress is just not for everyone. And when you use WordPress, you actually have to uh, spend money on hosting. Whereas with Groove Blog and Groove Funnels, even if you just have the free account, you can still create a blog and you can post on that blog. You can, you know, you can do SEO, you can do Pinterest, you can do Facebook marketing whatever method you want to use to get traffic, you can still do that. And you can put your affiliate links or your links to your own products, or you can run ads like I'm planning to. And uh, you can use this blog to generate income that way. Uh, so I think that's really cool. Uh, so far, I've only used Groove Pages really to generate income um, via building my list and affiliate marketing. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting more use out of Groove Funnels, and for me that means setting up a blog with Groove Blog and starting to write on it. That's all I've got for this video. In the next one, we're going to take a look at uh, how to connect a domain to Groove Blog so we can get this on my real domain, and we'll go through uh, maybe a few more specifics of how to delete every all the dummy content and customize it to get it set up the way that we want. That might be in the video after. So in the next video, we'll probably just look at how to connect a domain and uh, hope that you come back for that. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.